Dear friends, welcome back to the second video of our series of masterclasses on leadership. As you know, the Dutch National Opera and Ballet is both a very old and traditional institution, but also extremely innovative. In this series, we'll try to show you how you can collaborate and stay innovative, both offline and online, in these challenging times. I hope you will enjoy this second video. Hi, my name is Ted Brands and I'm the director of Dutch National Ballet. In the first week we, we closed down, I thought, how are other people dealing with this? Because it's not just here. Um, we, I have a, a very large network of, of fellow directors and colleagues around the world and um, I wrote to them, it was about a hundred people. What are you doing? What is you know? What are the things that you're dealing with? How can we support each other? And we that's that's become like a, an email chain of communication from directors around the world, literally from from the Mariinsky Theater in Russia to Miami City Ballet in and 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 Italy and Spain, everywhere around the world, from smaller to bigger companies. So there have been very different situations and by, by discussing with each other how do you deal with dancers that are afraid, how do you deal with getting people in to the theatre in a, in a safe way, do you work with different bubbles, okay, testing, what's happening there. We were able to at least feel that you're not alone in dealing with this, which was very important in the beginning, because when you have a crisis that n has not happened before, you need to be, know that you're not the only one dealing with it and that there's other people. That gives you some sort of comfort that you're not all alone on the planet trying to find out how to work it. So that's been, um, that's been a great um, tool for myself but also for others. It was a big shock for everybody uh, when we had the first lockdown and we had this tremendous uh, performances planned for opera and ballet. And from one moment till the other, everything was closed down. Uh, so the first crisis communication we did was all reaching out to our audiences and our stakeholders and saying we have to lock down due to the corona situation. So uh, that was our first phase of running the business is just uh, damage control. See how that works, see how that goes. And after that we start wondering because the most important thing we have to do is to touch people uh, with art. That's, uh, that's our mission in the world, that's where we stand for. So we started thinking about how can we do that? How can we make that possible? So we thought maybe online is a way to do it. And, um, and we formed a crisis team and we started thinking about together with the online and content team, how can we do this? And we came up with the idea of streaming our performances because then you're reaching out to the audiences and even internationally because that's also really important for us and I think within a week or two weeks we had our first first stream online and it was like a tremendous success we started to uh, stream our ballet lessons we started to stream all these kind of things and there were hundreds of thousand people watching that Everybody was looking for new ways of doing things. So what you're doing is you're looking outside all the time, saying, looking what is, uh, are the companies you're normally related to doing. So what we also did is, in the marketing department, in the commercial department, we started working um, agile. We started work with, uh, with boards, with plan boards. We have stand-ups every morning saying, what are the important things that need to be done today? So we also changed our way of working together. You know, in a situation like this where everything is different, you can't say, let's first sit down and, and develop a strategy and then roll it out. And, because that takes too much time. You have to start going. And as you go along, you learn on the spot. Normally we would say, uh, we need three years for an opera. Uh, we can do it in two years. 
but we figured out a way to do it in a week or in two weeks. So there's much more possible than, uh, than you could imagine. Well, for me, it's all about collaboration. Uh, normally, our workshops and our um, departments work with the designs and artistic team is giving us. And now this was much more a collaboration between the artistic team and our departments and our workshops. So what can we do with this short amount of time? How can we make something beautiful uh, with all the different parameters we now have? My department here, the dye shop, we didn't know what to do. See, after March, I mean, when we had our lockdown, then there were masks necessary for the um, um, people where the elderly people yeah. live. So we started making them a very simple uh, of fabrics that we had left over. We had to think differently, but maybe we were forced to think differently. But also we are a creative department here. So, and we had the fabrics. It was fun to do. We were very good at communicating why we were doing things. We were very good at communicating all the facts at giving every, all the protocols, how we were doing it. But we were not always so good at listening to people's feelings. And we had a company meeting once. And just before that, someone had told me that quite a few dancers were upset and even angry about how we were doing things. And I, I just didn't understand. I said, but we're explaining everything. And they said, yes, you explain everything, but you don't listen to how we feel. So we changed it around and I, we started talking more about how do people feel. So from there, you could, we could work in a different way and actually acknowledging that this is a very stressful time for many people, that we're all reinventing the wheel and reinventing how we communicate. Well, I think the other thing that we learn is how important it is to be, to be together and to be working together and to continue to be, yeah, to, to be producing. I think that's one of the most important things also, that a lot of things that you take for granted are not to be taken for granted. Mm -hmm.